All right, it's Father's Day, uh, Sunday. I'm gonna cook a few uh, pieces of meat here today on the grill. I've got, I uh, uh, had one pretty good size ribeye and I cut a little end of it off there for the little girl we got. And I've got three petite sirloins and uh, then I've got, uh, like I had that one, uh, one large ribeye and then I got five pieces of uh, a hot uh, bratwurst, so done got it seasoned. I got this seasoned with the sweet uh, Memphis barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy, and steak sauce, black pepper, and uh, salt on it. So here we go out to the grill. I'm preheating to 300. All righty, I had to put my my uh, umbrella out. Let a little bit of a shade. A little warm out here. It's about. 85 degrees, I guess. The temperature's done went up to almost 350, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff on the grill. All right. Take about probably uh, 20 minutes to get it to cook, I guess, on this grill at 300. So, anyhow, I'm gonna wait about five minutes on the first side, turn them, and wait another uh, approximately five minutes, and do it every two and a half minutes, uh, about 20 25 minutes altogether. I've uh, well, also got the chicken breast cubed up and being fried. That's going with this meal today. Got, uh, some vegetables in this so I can show it to you some uh, different stuff carrots and and uh, uh, different stuff in here to for basically steaming also got corn on the cob in uh, uh, the pot over there so we'll be cooking here and we get ready to turn it turn the steaks outside all righty temperatures running about 350. I'm getting ready to turn this stuff the first time. Let's see what she's looking like. Let's just see how this cook's going. All right, I might have to adjust it down a little bit. I put it on low, it cooks pretty warm as stove does, so may have to go down to a little bit lower setting. Get down this little bit further to low, see if that'll hold it at 300. Uh, it's about time to turn this. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay, looking pretty good. Gets a little, little bit of lively but now. Looking pretty good, that's placed on my set. Oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. That's looking good. I turn them every two and a half minutes now. Uh, it's about time to turn to, uh, stuff again. Hold them about 300, so that's pretty good uh, temperature. Steaks are cooking good. It's gonna be nice eating for this evening. We've already been out uh, and ate uh, uh, what I thought was gonna be the, uh, the only uh, part of our uh, Father's Day meal. Me and uh, wife and uh, my children and stuff today. We went out to Captain D's, and I'm gonna have to tell you, uh, tell you something that a lot of people might not know. But we've been eating tilapia. Uh, for several years. And uh, anyhow, I just got to where I liked that tilapia pretty good. And I thought once I'd check it out. And uh, you know, they also call that St. Peter's fish. Uh, you can get tilapia uh, 
a lot of these places are long gone silver. We went Captain, Captain D's where we go most of the time. But uh, tilapia is also a farm overseas in the same Mediterranean there in the uh, Red Sea or wherever out, out there right close to where uh, the uh, apostles and disciples and Jesus walked and everything. And when uh, they, had needed, they got following him and needed to pay taxes, uh, they asked him uh, about their taxes and stuff. He said, well, go, told Peter, said, go down to the, to the sea and the first fish you pull in, reach down its mouth and take the money that it has in its mouth and pay your taxes and mine. And that was what was supposed to be in the St. Peter's fish, the tilapia. And I just thought I'd put that in there. Uh, I try to live a Christian life, and uh, me and my wife does and stuff, you know. Been trying, trying to do it for years, trying to do the best we can. But I felt blessed just because I found that. And I know the fish itself don't probably help nobody, you know. And, but just the thought of it being uh, the same type of fish that was in that area, that uh, was farmed for thousands of years, that fish, that type of fish was. Uh, and that being the type of fish, they said was St. Peter's fish. It's called St. Peter's fish. Well, anyhow, I thought I'd tell you about that. And this is a later in the evening. It's almost 6.30, and this will be the finish of our uh, Father's Day meal today. It was gonna be like a one, one meal type thing, but we didn't eat breakfast this morning. We was late getting lined out and stuff. We went on to Captain D's, had what they call St. Peter's fish, so tilapia. And we're having uh, petite sirloin, ribeye, and some hot bratwurst. It's even for the family. We had corn cob, some, um, uh, some other stuff, some chicken chunks that's fried in the skillet. We got uh, uh, broccoli and uh, carrots and stuff in the uh, in a pot cooking too with some seasoning in it. So and uh, corn on the cob. So we're just blessed. Uh, Lord uh, bless us to have this food. We thank you for it. I'm glad y'all stopped by today to watch a little bit of this uh, video. God bless you. I'll turn this again. Get down to close, just about close to the end of this cook. And we want to get the, make sure everything's right. Some of this meat's a little thicker than others. So, we'll have to cook some of it a little bit longer. Some of it won't need to cook as long. Ah, uh, it's coming right along here now. Let's just see what we got. I to turn this, uh, this might be the last time I'm turning these, I don't know. Let's just see, I'll check this steak here just shortly. That's one steak there, kind of thick, that petite sirloin, so anyhow, we're down to the last uh, little bit of these uh, broths, they're on their last turn they are. Uh, when it's sweat. The oil coming out of them like that, you know it's about right. This is what we, let's go ahead and check this and see what this looks like. Just to see how close we are to what I'm looking for. It's about where I wanted that. This and here's the one I gotta worry about because it's so big, so thick. Let's see what this looks like. Still bleeding a little bit that day, but the rest of them about all right. All right, it's just leaving on there for a little bit longer, and that's it. Another minute and a half. I'm going to go ahead and start taking some of this stuff off. So anyhow, let's take these off first. Stay ready. Hot bratwurst. But a couple of flocks of hot bratwurst. These will be done enough, I believe. 
Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna leave that one on there just for a little bit longer. Yeah, that there looks good just a bit. Leave this in there just to, for about another minute and a half because it's thick. Hey, buddies. Hey, where'd you want the food at? Huh? <laughs> All right. Time to take this piece off. So that's the name of that turn. That's pretty heavy, that piece is. It'll make somebody a good piece of meat. Be good and tender. Well, anyhow, let's cut this thing off. Cut the gas off. All right, I'll meet you on the inside. Right here's the finished product, how it turned out. Got the uh, baked potato, sour cream and butter, uh, ribeye, got the corn on the cob, and some broccoli and uh, carrots uh, uh, cooked in a and the pot, you know, some other stuff in our celery and stuff with it. I tell you, it looks awful good. I got a diet pepsi. Thank the Lord. God bless you. Happy Father's Day, everybody.